Good morning and welcome back to Morning Moments with Jesus on this cool Wednesday morning. Begin our devotions by greeting you to another day and speaking a blessing over you that you would have a, a blessed and a productive day. But the reality is, is that each one of us get up differently and approach a day differently depending on our moods, depending on our emotions, depending on what's going on in our life the day before. And to be quite frank, to really depending upon our attitude towards the day. But I have found, and I believe you would say it's true also, that how we begin a day often will determine how our day will go. And we have to be honest about all of our emotions and attitudes, both good and bad, as we approach a day. And the Lord uh, speaks to us today as I'm spending time with the Lord this morning in Psalm chapter 25, verses 16 through 18. The psalmist is, is in a uh, particular uh, emotional position here. And he says, Turn, O Lord, unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring me out of my distresses. And look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive me of all my sin. There are some this morning that will wake up joyful. They will be ready to approach the day with, with zeal and with passion. But there are also people who are getting up this morning, perhaps even under the sound of this devotion this morning that are feeling lonely they're feeling discouraged perhaps you're full of sorrow or maybe even battling depression I want to pray a word over you today because we have a great and mighty weapon in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ those types of emotions can grip us and, and begin to rob us of every ounce of joy of life if we're not careful. And each day seems to compound itself and to where loneliness and sorrow will give way to isolation. You begin to want to pull yourself back and not be around a lot of people. And that will only give way to depression and discouragement. We've all faced that. But the Lord says in Deuteronomy 31, Be strong and of a good courage and fear not, nor be afraid. For the Lord your God, it is He that goes with you. He will not fail you and He will not forsake you. And let me tell you how the Lord does that. He not only does it through the power of the Holy Spirit, but He does it by prompting people to come and either call you or check on you or invest in your life. Don't rob them of that blessing and don't rob yourself of that blessing. Let them in. And if no one is calling, call someone that might encourage you and lift your spirits today. God's given you a day, a very blessed day. And who knows but God how many more we have. So don't give way today to loneliness, sorrow, or discouragement. Approach this day by saying, Lord, this is the day that you have made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. How you start the day often determines how your day will go. So just take a little time to just spend a little time with Jesus. Receive those who reach out to you. 
and reach out to those who can encourage you. I pray that blessing over you today, over your heart, over your mind, and over your soul. May the joy of life and the peace of God prevail in your life today. Be safe, be strong, and be blessed. Be full of joy today. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, God loves you. God made you special. May God bless you.